Hello students, welcome to Anu's tuition. Today, today we are going to explain the chapter 3. It is Roman numbers. Chapter 3 for the 4th class. Chapter 3 Roman numerals. Okay. Next, let us learn about the topics in this chapter are Roman numerals, rules for writing Roman numeral. Okay. Next. See here all of you Roman numerals what is the definition of a Roman numerals means in history you hear about the Roman civilization that existed long before the Hindu Arabic numerals came into existence Roman numerals are not used in mathematical calculations yet we see them in watches clocks and calendars next See here all of you, chapter 3 Roman numerals, Roman numerals and Hindu Arabic numerals. This is a letter I, I means in Hindi Arabic numeral it is a 1, Roman numeral V means it's a V, it's nothing but 5, X means 10, L means 50, C means 100, D means 500, M means 1000, okay. See here all of you. Roman numerals, Hindu Arabic numerals, I1, V5, X10, L50, C100, D500, M1000. Next, this is the first point. Once again, I am repeating this first point. In history, you hear about the Roman civilization that existed long before the Hindu Arabic numerals came into existence. Roman numerals are not used in mathematician, mathematical calculations, yet we see them in watches, clocks and calendars in every home we have the clocks watches calendars as students you can observe in that you can see the roman letters in the clocks watches okay next next point there are only seven symbols in roman system and we can form the roman numerals for all numbers with these seven symbols let us count one two three four five six seven i v x l c d m yes these are the five seven these are the seven symbols in a roman system there is no symbol for zero in the roman numeral system yes this is a very important point children there is no symbol for zero in the roman numeral system though there are seven symbols we will study the first three in the class okay in this class for four for fourth class we will learn about only one two three these three first three there are i v and x and form roman numerals up to 39 okay we will go to next page and the next topic in this chapter is rules for writing roman numeral next what is the topic next topic rules for writing roman numeral okay what is the first rule means repetition of a roman numeral means addition repetition means repeat okay repetition is nothing but a repeat same number coming more times okay repetition of a this is a rule one repetition of a roman numeral means addition for example double x double i x what is the value of uh, x in uh, Roman numeral 10, 10 plus 10 that equals to 20. Here x is repeated, x is repeated, okay. Next here, 1, 2, 3, 3 are there, 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equals to 3. Here i is repeated, repetition is nothing but a addition. This is the first rule student. This is the first rule. Next, we will go to the second rule. Here is the second rule. 
a smaller numerals written to the right of the larger numeral is always added to the larger numeral a smaller numeral once again i am repeating a smaller numerals written to the right of the larger numeral is always added to the larger numeral okay. with example we can understand very easily student see here this is a smaller numeral 1 this is a larger numeral 5 okay this is a 5 this is a 1 this is a 1 a smaller numeral a smaller numeral written to the written to the right of a larger right of a larger numeral is always added to the larger numeral phi is v is nothing but phi plus i means 1 next i means 1 phi plus 1 plus 1 7 okay next here it is this is the larger numeral this is a smaller x is nothing but 10 plus 1 plus 1 that is equals to 12 next here v is the larger numeral 1 1 1 i i i next 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 8 here 10 is the larger number and 5 plus 1 plus 1 17 with this example you can understand this rule rule number 2 very easily okay see here very important point here x cannot be repeated more than three times so 40 can never be written as four x's it is a very important point students x cannot be repeated repeated more than three times means x x variable we, we have we don't need to write more than three times so it's a so 40 can never be written as x x x x we should not write like this okay ma next we will go to the next rule see rule number three here a smaller numeral written to the left of a larger numeral is always subtracted from the larger number see here a smaller numeral written to the left of the larger numeral is always subtracted from the larger number means 5 minus 1 what is the answer 4 see once once again i am repeating here a smaller numeral written to the left of a larger numeral is always subtracted subtracted from the larger number v is nothing but 5 1 is nothing but 1 1 is subtracted from 5 5 minus 1 answer 4 here also 10 minus 1 9 50 minus 1 49 and the next rule number 3 is completed students next here it is one another important point in rule number 3 we will discuss now see here all of you the numeral v is never subtracted and i can be subtracted from v and x only the numeral v is never subtracted okay it is a it is a uh, very important point it is a rule also v will never subtracted and i can be subtracted from v and x okay next rule number four for numeral greater than 10 we first write the number in groups of tens and ones and then form the new num roman numeral for the corresponding number for numeral greater than 10 here all numerals for example we take we took some numerals here here all are greater than 10 only uh, we first write the numbers in groups of tens and ones here what we have to write 14 10 plus 4 and then form the roman numeral for the corresponding number 10 is nothing but x Ten is nothing but x. Four. How we have to write four? Four means we have to write v and the left side i. No need to write one, 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 one. Why? Because there is a very important point. We no need to write i more than three times. That's it. Okay. Four. You have to write v and in the left side i. Then five minus one. It's a four. Already we discussed here. See here. Five minus one four i v means 4 here same 
this is the roman numeric form of a 14 next 31 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 31 x x x i next 12 10 plus 2 is equals to x 1 1 next 39 39 how can we write 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 9 next x x x 1 x okay x x x 1 x 9 10 minus 1 9 okay next 29 10 plus 10 plus 9 x plus x plus 1 x next 15 10 plus 5 x v i hope you understand rule number 4 once again i am repeating friends and students for numeral greater than 10 we first write the number in groups of tens and ones and then form the roman numeral for the corresponding number here these are the examples okay by using these four rules we can, now we have now we can write roman numerals one means i two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen uh, eighteen nineteen twenty One to thirty-nine. Hindu, Hindu Arabic and Roman numerals. See here, all of you. Next, we came to the exercise, uh, students. See here, exercise. Write the time shown on the clocks. In the Roman numerals, okay. It is a four. It is a eight. It is a three, and it is a 10. Next second, write the Hindu Arabic numerals for the following. Next, first one x 1 1 10 11 12 13. Answer for A is 13. Next, x 1 x i v sorry x i v second. I came left side of V means what we have to do here subtraction 10 plus 4 it is nothing but 14 next x x 1 1 10 plus 10 20 plus 2 22 next like that we have to complete all these write the roman numerals for the following 28 32 15 already we uh, i explained in uh, while explaining the rules okay students if you have any doubt please uh, please uh, come please give me your doubts in the comment box i will compulsory i will give your explanation okay na? next next chap next roman here greater than less than first we have to find the value of these numerals in roman numerals and then we can uh, write the symbols greater or lesser or equal okay now x x v is nothing but 25 okay 
x x i v x x x v is nothing but 25 x x i v is nothing but 24 means we get here greater than symbol next x x x dash x x x it is 30 it is 30 means we will get the equal to number here next x i x dash x x x here we get i in the left side of x means 10 plus minus 9 that is 19 next 30 x x x means nothing but 30 means 19 is less than 30 next x v i x x v i see here x v i x means 10 10 plus v means 50 5 15 15 plus 1 16 x x 20 25 26 means 16 is less than 16 is less than 26 next i x i x i x is nothing but 9 here also a 9 equals to symbol like this we have to solve the exercise problems students next we will go to another section which of the following are meaningless okay we will find here i think v v x is meaningless and b is meaningless okay next a multiple choice questions okay the roman numerals for 39 the roman numerals for 39 is 39 a is the answer a is the answer this one is the answer next the roman numerals cannot be repeated more than three times already we discussed in the rule, rules the hindu arabic number for the roman, roman numeral ix is 9 there are dash symbols used in roman numeral 7 next there are no symbol for dash in roman numerals 0 okay next fill in the blanks the roman numeral c represents 100 the roman numeral for 7 roman numeral for 7 means 5 6 7 this is the answer next the roman numeral b can be used at the most times the ro number for the roman numeral x x i x is already we discussed see the number for the roman numeral is it is a 29 the roman numeral x can be repeated three times at most the roman numeral x can never be repeated no it's false it can be repeated almost three times the roman numeral v can be repeated at the most two times no it's a false there is no symbol for zero in the roman numeral system true the roman numeral i can be subtracted from v and x only true there are only five symbol in roman numerals false okay uh, next here are here are some important points in this chapter we discussed it once again i will repeat there are seven symbols in roman numerals i v x l c d m there is no symbol for zero in the roman numeral system i can be subtracted from v or x only repetition of roman numerals means addition we can never be repeated a smaller numeral written to the right of a larger numeral or is always added to the larger numeral a smaller numeral written to the left of a larger numeral is always subtracted from the larger numeral roman numerals can be never be repeated more than three times next that's it student and uh, first the chop is completed okay uh, today uh, we, will, uh, we will discuss it about the chapter roman numbers and the topics of roman numerals and rules for writing roman numerals i hope you all understand the way of explanation of this chapter please subscribe to my channel please support to my channel with your share like and comments if you have any doubts in this chapter please mention in the comment box i will explain it thank you for watching